I'm Dr. Shalini Patodia. I'm a dermatologist practicing here in Hyderabad. Let's talk about inflammation. What is inflammation? Simply put, inflammation is heat. So ideally, whenever we have a bacterial infection, viral, any infection in our body, our body produces heat, which is fever, to kill that infection. But when we are having that heat without any infection on in our body, it is just there, that subtle heat, not to the level of fever, but mild. So that is inflammation. Now, why are we having so much of inflammation? Of late, you must have heard so many doctors, so many videos, everyone is talking about inflammation. Why now? Because our modern lifestyle, such as our food, we are eating a lot of processed food, which increases the inflammation in our body. Our stress level, anxiety and stress, they produce cortisol, which is a hormone in our body, which increases the inflammation in our body, our sleep pattern. So when we sleep well, when we have that seven to eight hours of rested sleep, we produce something called melatonin, which reduces the inflammation, which is lacking nowadays. So we are having high cortisol levels, low melatonin levels, which is causing inflammation. All these screens that we have around us, so much of blue light exposure, it is increasing our inflammation. So generally put, most of us nowadays are having high inflammation in our body. How do we reduce our inflammation? So to reduce the inflammation, you can have certain lifestyle changes. For example, maintain a good sleep hygiene sleep for at least six to eight hours every night at a fixed time. Don't split your sleep. Don't sleep like two hours in the afternoon, four hours at the night, no. When you sleep like that, when you break up your sleep, your REM reduces. So six to eight hours of uninterrupted sleep. Reduce your blue light exposure after 6 p.m. Morning hours, you need to have blue light exposure. You should have some sunlight exposure as well. But in the evening hours, you need to reduce your blue light exposure. Prefer vegetarian fruit food over non-vegetarian food. Non-vegetarian food has been shown to be pro-inflammatory, whereas vegan sources, vegetarian food are anti-inflammatory. In the vegetarian food also, if you go for less processed food, take whole food as such, don't process the food too much, then that reduces inflammation as well. Add omega-3 supplements to your diet. Now, how does omega-3 help? Omega-3 reduces the levels of CRP, interleukin-6, TNF-alpha. These are the markers for inflammation. So you know for sure that it works. How much omega-3 to take? Omega-3, usually, if you are a healthy individual, you just want to maintain your health, you want to be proactive. 400 mg twice daily is good enough for you. If you already have some heart diseases, such as if you have dyslipidemia, if you have higher blood pressure, if you have any other heart diseases, then increase your dose to up to three to four grams a day. So omega-3 is best absorbed with high fat meals. So take the capsule after your main meals. Like if you take heavy lunch and dinner, then take after lunch and dinner. So whichever your heavier meals are, you take a capsule after the meal. 